how to install a Salus programmable room thermostat. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you how to wire a thermostat onto your combi boiler but also what not to do because often people get this wrong and doing this wrong could cost you up to 10% on your gas bills. So these are setting in this called open firm or there's a way to wire it called open firm and what I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how to wire it normally but then I'm going to show you how to wire it to save you extra money should your boiler be compatible with that so yeah let's get into this video so first of all we'll have a look at what's in the box so if we open the box or if you can if you can put a thumbs up on the video and a comment um, really appreciate that um, so if we open the box we've got the instructions most important thing of all you must read the instructions and also whatever boiler you're going to be connecting it to read the instructions on there because it'll tell you which link and which wires and which connections to connect the wires to from this thermostat so instructions as i say the most important thing we've got the thermostat and that's in a nice um plastic cover to protect it and if we're looking there, just put the rest of the box down. Yep. We've got a stand that just goes on the back of the thermostat if you just want it to put it on the side, like a worktop or something like that. We've also got the batteries in here, and we've got these are Duracell batteries, so really good. It's really important as well when you when you have a thermostat to put good batteries in because hopefully you want it to last for a long time uh, and then also we've got the receiver which will open this up shortly and then we'll wire this up and then also just a few screws there to connect it to the wall so we've got the receiver now this is the dt 600 rf version so it's got a receiver the standard dt 600 that is a it's slightly different on back when you when you when you open it up but it still wires the same but as i say always refer to the manufacturer's instructions and it's very clear in there which wire goes to which so starting on this that's just your back plate so that would go on wall you've got a little knockout on bottom here for your wires to come out also if you wanted like on this one here the wires can go through the back so it makes it nice and neat if we start from the left we've got as normal power supply so we've got as live and as neutral so they're just the power supply that we would have the mains power supply sometimes you take that from fuse spur and some people take them from the boiler which we'll have a look at that shortly and then we've got the common and then we've got the normally open so we'll have a look at them and we'll wire these in and then we'll come back to the open firm connections afterwards Right, okay, so if we have a look at the boiler, we've got an idea logic boiler here, and boilers will be different. This is just to give you an idea, and as I say, you need to read the instructions for the boiler that you're going to be working on, and also the control that you're going to be working on. But if we have a look here, if we have a look, first of all, we can see this first connection, these first two connections here, these are for the frost stat, and then the next one, this link here, this red link, that is for the room thermostat so this is for your normal on off switching which this thermostat we're going to wire it in to start with on on off just to show you how how that would be wired in you can also use something called tpi with that which we'll have a little we'll talk about that later and then also on here we've got the mains connection into the boiler which is your live neutral and earth and again some people will connect to this to to take the main power supply to the boiler also if we have a look on this side over here we can see we've got another link in there which is called open firm now this is the key thing to making it more efficient which we'll talk about that later because i don't want to confuse things we've also got weather compensation on here so you can also have a weather compensated control so you'll have an outside sensor um which again we'll, we'll we'll chat about that later as well so a little bit like blue peter here's what we did earlier um i've got the wires in 
so the wires are in here ready and we've got the link so i'm gonna so this is for the on off connection now not the open firm for the on off if you was going to wire it on off switch so we're just going to take that link out so we'll just remove the link remove that little link and then we're going to connect our wires in that we've just done here just put them in there and then just tighten them up and now we'll go to the wall plate and we'll show you the thermostat side so we've got all those wires here now I've got my live and neutral and I've brought that from the back of the fuse spur and then I've got my wires from the link at the boiler and they're going to wire into the back of the receiver and we're going to wire them in in common and NO so all we need to do is put those ferrules in there and then just tighten them all up so I've put them all in now so as we can see on here, we've got this brown wire here, which is the live that I've connected in. So again, that's come from back at fuse spur. We've got as neutral. And again, that's come from back at fuse spur. And then we've got as common and as NO. And them two, they have both come from that link at the boiler. So that's how you would wire it. If you're gonna wire it as, as an on off control. And if you're gonna wire it as an on off, then you simply test your wiring with your multimeter, connect it all on there, screw the screws in underneath for this receiver, and then once you've tested it all, you can power it up, and that'll all work really well as an on off control. But that's not what I want you to do. I want you to wire in the most efficient way that you can, which in this particular case, we're going to wire it as open firm. So all we need to do. If we're going to do it as open firm, just take the back off and on the back here, we need to be really careful here. We do not want to put any mains power down an open firm connection. We will almost definitely blow the thermostat up, the receiver, and we'll almost definitely blow the boiler up if we put live down any of them. So you need to be really careful that you don't do that. But all you're going to do then is the two wires here that we've put in the common and the NO we take them out of there and we'll put them into the A and B on the receiver and then at the boiler we'll change the wires over and we'll put them into the open firm connection so that's how we wire in the the open firm part of part of the thermostat if you've got any questions on open firm please put a comment below as i've said previously or earlier on you can save up to 10 percent, maybe even more than 10 percent. i think i've seen some stat where it said 15 percent in, in winter but it's always you can save up to that but if you're going to put a new boiler in or a new control in then why wouldn't you wire it in to make it a smarter control so that you save that money it, it's just a no-brainer and that would be compared to like an old style thermostat so from that to an open firm you, you could possibly save 15 percent maybe who knows um, these loads are if you if you search for it online then you'll see different um um different bodies that's di that's done different studies on on open firm so as i say I know I'm babbling on about it, but it's real. It's so important and it is really worth wiring in. The only last thing we'd need to do, um, we'd need to just put batteries in and then we'd put a thermostat up on wall or if we wanted to, we could put the stand on it and then we could put it on somewhere, um, some side or somewhere. Um, but that's it. That's it for the control. If you're, um, if you're an installer, or you're a new trainee I would advise that if you don't know a lot about wiring go on a wiring course lots of um, lots of training providers now are offering 
um, wiring so you can go in your s plan wiring you can go on your controls learn how to use a multimeter and it's probably one of the most important things of our job is using a multimeter because it's you can test once you've done all this type of stuff you can test it and these videos these are just to give you an idea as i say I always refer to the information the manufacturing instructions the boiler instructions the thermostats instructions and always make sure that you're competent if you're going to be working on a boiler or doing anything with electrics i know i'm babbling on now but i hope this has been of some use to you this video and as i say please put a comment below and yeah try my best to answer it best i can um thanks for watching